The NGV has made a priority to present Korean art and culture as an integral part of its international and Asian collection. Behind me, one of our major acquisitions last year was this Chegori screen. They first appeared during the late 18th century. Chegori literally translates to books and things, depicting stacks of books, scholarly accoutrements, our collectibles, scrolls, auspicious fruits and plants. Chigori screens served as pictorial representations of a collection suitable for a scholar to possess and display in his study. The origin of this style of painting is still quite a mystery, but it's thought to have been influenced by Korean artists and progressive thinkers after viewing Trump de Loy paintings that Jesuit missionaries brought to China. The study of books both in Chinese and the Korean Hangul language was an important part of a scholar's life for passing Joseon Dynasty civil examinations and stacks of books were central to Chegori Screen's composition. Displayed amongst the books are pomegranates that are associated with fertility and prosperity, fringe citron or lemons representing longevity and wealth, and flowering narcissus bulbs representing longevity, but also a favourite of scholars for their fragrance and poetic implications and associations. Chegori screens also give us an insight into the most prized objects collected by Joseon Dynasty scholars. Chinese ancient bronzes from the Shang, Zhou and Hang dynasties and Song Dynasty stoneware covered with light greyish crackled glaze known as Guan or Gi ware. We've also purchased a large group of textiles that were produced at the time. One of the features of these is the Korean wedding pillows. In Korea, wedding pillows were presented to newlyweds as auspicious items for everyday use. Various styles of pillows were made in different regions of Korea, and their place of origin can be determined by their shape, with the larger, square and round ones being produced in the northern provinces, smaller rectangular ended pillows produced around the Seoul region, and the pillows with woven dried reeds from the southern western coastal regions. The ends of the pillows are decorated with elaborate silk embroideries representing the traditional symbols of longevity with deer, cranes, the sun, clouds and mountains, peonies representing wealth and influence, the lotus representing purity, fertility and birth, and the butterfly symboling joy, harmony and prosperity. According to Korean culture beliefs, the inclusion of these motifs would ward off negative energy and bless the newlywed couple with a long life, happiness, good wealth and peace.